Arsenal won 3 0 today against Bournemouth. Uh, there was some dodgy decisions, and uh, Bournemouth manager Adonia Iriola was not best pleased with some of them. If we keep the VAR, I think we have to give power to the VAR. What I don't get is probably the ones in the VAR thought it was not a penalty and thought it, was, it, uh, it wasn't a foul. But the, when they introduced the clear and obvious and this, then we spent the five, six minutes checking everything and probably they are thinking it's a very soft foul you know but they say no we cannot overturn it because it's not clear then we don't spend five six minutes with the var if you are not going to take any decision i think this uh, we have to 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 rethink it a little bit yeah obviously looking at the decisions if you haven't seen a game we saw the the, the game gabs and yeah. um the havertz obviously the dive of he, course. He, you know he buys he buys the foul yeah he sucks the referee and he gives a penalty. They go to VAR and he leaves his foot in and there is contact because he's left his foot yes. there. But, you know, he, he's, he's absolutely dived. So VAR can overrule that really and say that is clear and obvious. He has dived. Yes, there's a little bit of contact, but we know exactly what he's doing. Of course, but the problem now is that Havertz knows he's going to get a pen. Yeah. So I blame the rules and what they're at now. You know, if he knows he's going to get booked for diving, he yeah. doesn't do that. He knows, leave my foot in, contact, it's a penalty. That's the problem. So if I'm a player now, I'm doing it. Yeah. yeah I'm doing it, I don't care. Like 100% agree with you because Kulisewski the other day against Arsenal, he stays on his feet, yes. tries to be honest, yeah. stays on his feet, doesn't get the foul. No. Doesn't when, it, when it's a stonewall penalty because it doesn't go down. If he goes 100%. down, makes a meal with it, penalty. And yep. that's exactly what habits do. So we yep. moan about diving and we want diving out of the game. Mm. But you have to play the rules. You have to be, you know, as a as a as a player, you have to be the use the dark arts for the game. If you I'm have not to buy score, the penalty because yeah. the because the referees are useless, VAR's useless, yes. and they're not going to overturn it. Really and truthfully, he should have gone to the referee. Havertz has dived. We know exactly what yes. he's doing. As a book. But the problem is you've got people in VAR that probably played rugby at school. Do you know what I mean? Or done horse ri horse riding? <laughs> Not football. They haven't got a clue. So that's why I always moan about ex players on VAR because these guys haven't got a clue. But if I was playing now, I'd, I'd be um, running around like I'm I'm I'm, I'm on ice. Yeah. I'll just be over unless I'm going to score any touch. Don't get into a little touch. Yeah. Because when they slow it down, it looks worse than it actually is. Yeah. I'm out. I'm over, mate. I'm flying over too. Uh -huh. I don't care. I see. We saw one earlier in the season with Rashford, and it was like, oh, okay, I'm not sure about that. Give it, given. Like you've got to be more clever now. If I'm Ange, I'm saying Kudelski. Like it's about being honest, mate. Like you would have got us a penalty, changes the game, play the rules. You're not going to get no pat on the back yeah. for like staying on your feet anymore. Well, that's the problem. You don't. No, that is the problem. <laughs> and you know, and, fair and play award. People, yeah, people keep going on about oh, they dive in and uh, Saka goes down and he dive. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. the referees are so off it and VAR are so off it and they're so scared to overturn a decision that the referee's made when it's yep. clear and obvious that everyone knows that what he's doing, Havertz, to buy a penalty. Yep. But you can't be honest. There was one Go in down. There was one in midweek in the Villa game and Duran got brought down for Aston Villa for a penalty. And yes, it's a foul, but he probably could have stayed on his feet. Big, strong lad, but he knows the contact's there. I'm over. Happy days, penalty. You know it's going to be a penalty, so play the rules now. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go to Kieran. He's a Bournemouth fan. All right, Kieran. Good evening, Kieran. Morning, Jamie. Morning, Gary. How are we doing? Good yeah. morning. This evening, yeah. What am I doing? Where are you, mate? I'm at home. I'm Australia. At home I watch the game on TV. Oh, just, I, thought just, I thought you just said good morning. You, you're, oh, where do you live, I Kieran? Did, I, did. Uh, I actually live in London now. All right. Okay. How do you watch the game on TV? <laughs> How do I watch it? Oh, I've got... Uh, a stream. <laughs> <laughs> What's your address and phone number, man? <laughs> we'll get some reward money. <laughs> uh, what's the 12.30? It's 12.30. All right. Why did you up, man? <laughs> uh, look, Kieran, you obviously felt hard done by. I've had a good season, Bournemouth. We've played some good football, but I mean, the decisions, yeah, I would probably say went against you today. Well, I think, yeah, I think the decisions are one thing, but I think um, exactly what you guys just said just before I came on, I think what we've got to be looking at is the quality of the refereeing. It's easy for Andoni Iriola to mention VAR, and it's easy to, of course, mention VAR. But I think the question for a lot of fans are, why do we need VAR if we can improve the quality of the refs and the decisions being made on the pitch? If you look at that Havertz decision, and you look at, more importantly, and for me, the Stonewall, 
disallowed goal where he's either got a decision to make, he's going to disallow the goal and give Bournemouth a penalty to the pullback. Oh, that was feeling. ridiculous. That was a goal. <laughs> it, it, it's a goal. It's a goal. There's no foul. But no? if he believes that there is a foul, then he's got to look at VAR and look at the foul on Phil Billy. So either way, he's got to make a decision to give the goal or give a penalty. How has he disallowed the goal and then not looked at the foul for a penalty is beyond me. Is that VAR's fault? Or if that's the refereeing fault and the quality of the refereeing in this country. Mm. You look at Champions League football and you look at Saka against Bayern Munich. He leaves his foot in there deliberately. You talk about diving. We talk about deliberately playing the game rules. They don't give it. The Premier League, we give it. Yeah. That's our problem. People need to start talking about the quality of the refereeing, not the problem with VAR. VAR shouldn't be a thing if we had better quality referees. Yeah, we I think the refere- back- I think the referees are too pally. You know, it's like they don't want to step on each other's toes. And they like, you know, I heard it the other day when the, the footage came out and Howard Webb was on with Michael Owen, and he, just the way they talk to each other, and it's like. Absolutely. Lads, you know, you, you, the, the decisions you're getting wrong are just embarrassingly bad. You know, and it's like there's like there's like this little mates thing. I get there, like stick together, but come on, you're like you're you're embarrassing yourselves, all of yous. It's, it's it's shocking. I think. Look, take that aside. You know, I don't want to bring the damper on the yeah. on the show. I think it's been a brilliant show, and obviously, congratulations to Ipswich. But I think from a from a Bournemouth standpoint, you mentioned earlier, Jamie, what a season we've had, and I think that goes under the radar. Yeah, oh, yeah. A lot of people were sceptical, and we took a lot of abuse from the media over the Gary Neal decision, mm. uh, Gary O'Neill decision, I should say. Yeah. Um, and obviously the American owner coming in, and you know, I hear the Birmingham fans earlier today talking about American owners. I mean, what a job Bill Foley's done. What a job Andoni Iriola's done. And Bournemouth are on the up and we're on the radar a lot. Kieran, what's the future for Bournemouth next season? Because I'm hearing about a new stadium being built. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, look, we, we talk about it a lot. I was dreaming of Europe this year, and, you know, a lot of us former fans yeah. were having a joke about renewing our passport. I think we need to be realistic. I think you look at Brighton and you look at a lot of teams like that. When you get into Europe, you've got a whole other problem of yes. sort of squad debt, financial problems that comes with that. What about new stadium, you know, mate? Because I'm hearing about uh, a big... It. Yeah, they've been talking would you, about Would it. you fill it? I think you've been very... T- well, they're saying 20,000, right? Yeah, would you, so, you would fill that, I wouldn't you? I think you've been yeah. realistic. Well, you say that, right? I think the problem we've got is Bournemouth. We are in that area where a lot of people live in Bournemouth are either Man United fans, Liverpool fans, Chelsea fans, or they're Brighton fans. So Spurs? We get a very small... Well, <laughs> oh, yeah, I won't mention Spurs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I feel sorry for, for Jamie after last week as well because oh, I watched don't. it as well and decisions went, it went against them. And I think this is the thing that frustrates me. Although we were hard done by today. Arsenal were fantastic first half, but we'd done our job and only set that team up for success. He knew he had to hold Arsenal until half time, make them nervy, get the crowd on their back and then come out second half. He had a great game plan today and simply a refereeing quality has cost us yeah. again. And it, it, it leaves a bitter taste in your mouth because as you said earlier, we've had a great season. Yeah. But yeah. games like this, you just, you just feel almost like frustration. Kieran, you're going to have to come back to it because there's been a goal at the Etihad. Man City, two passes, goal. But like, Jamie, I know it's an outstanding goal, but come on. You can't lay him on his left foot. Honestly, defensive coaches, mate. They'll be getting sacked. It, Premier League defensive coaches will be getting sacked. How can you let him? Is it Kilman? How can you let him on his left foot here? Gabs, the art oh. of defending is gone out of the game because it's all about can you play out yes. from the back? Can you, you know, are you a midfielder playing centre-half? They can't defend no more. They cannot defend. It's like they've forgotten. Like the, the art of yes. defending is, you know, getting tight, showing him on his weak foot. Show, don't get an easy shot in. Honestly, Honestly the man, amount I, of times I, I see players who just come in, strolling on their yeah, good foot yeah, and just bend balls into uh, the bottom corners. Yeah. Now. Today, Hudson Adoy. Hudson Adoy. You've seen, you've seen Harlan here. He's left footed, guys. If you let him on his right foot and he scores his right foot, no problem. No problem. No yeah. problem. But he can't cut in there. No graft. No step over. No. Nah. Just touch, Just come inside. There you go, there you go. On your left foot. I mean, it's early in Holland. Like, it's not like you don't know who you're playing against. Honestly, mate. Like you Do said, you know though, I mean? but as long as you can play from the back and you can look like, oh. you know, Sergio Ramos and PK, then your thing's outstanding. What about keeping a clean sheet? What about stopping? You just scored. You've just scored a you know what I mean? <laughs> chance just scored and then just went and done it. Edison to Foden, Foden to Haaland, yeah. goal. Goal, 4-1, thanks Honestly, for coming. Honestly, Gary O'Neill as well, he's up on the stands watching, but he's suspended. He must be thinking like, come on, guys. 
Yeah, it's embarrassing. I'll give up, Jamie. Yeah, defending's <laughs> gone, mate. Imagine how many goals you'd get. You, you might get six or seven a season now if you Oh, no, mate. I've been in the 100 club, I think. <laughs> deary, deary me. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.